Welcome to our Bible study on Divine Presence and Glory. As we delve into Haggai 2 verse 9, I promise you'll discover a profound truth that will ignite your faith and deepen your understanding of God's presence in your life. This verse holds a promise of greater glory, a divine assurance that transcends time and circumstance, offering hope and encouragement to all who seek to experience the fullness of God's presence and glory. Join me on this journey of exploration and revelation as we uncover the treasures hidden within this powerful scripture. Divine Presence Revealed In Haggai 2 verse 9, God declares, The latter glory of this house will be greater than the former, says the Lord of armies. And in this place I will give peace, declares the Lord of armies. This statement reflects God's promise to his people regarding the rebuilding of the temple. The phrase, latter glory, signifies a divine manifestation beyond what was previously experienced. It speaks of a new level of God's presence and favor, surpassing any past accomplishments or blessings. Glory in the Old Testament Throughout the Old Testament, we encounter various manifestations of God's glory. From the pillar of cloud and fire leading the Israelites in the wilderness, to the radiant presence in the tabernacle and temple, God's glory was a tangible reality for His people. It symbolized His power, majesty, and holiness, drawing reverence and awe from those who encountered it. The Temple's Significance The Temple held immense significance in Israelite worship. It was not merely a physical structure but a symbol of God's dwelling among His people. The dedication of the Temple was a momentous event, marked by the visible manifestation of God's glory filling the sanctuary. 1 Kings 8 verses 10-11 this tangible display affirmed God's presence and His faithfulness to His covenant. Comparing Glories When God speaks of the latter glory being greater than the former, He points to a spiritual reality beyond the physical reconstruction of the temple. While the rebuilt temple might not match the grandeur of Solomon's temple in terms of architectural splendor, God's promise extends beyond material dimensions. It foreshadows a time when His presence and glory would surpass anything witnessed before. Application to our lives As believers, we are temples of the Holy Spirit, 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19. Just as God promised a greater glory for the physical temple, He desires to manifest His glory in and through us in remarkable ways. Our lives dedicated to God become vessels for His presence and power to shine forth. We are called to reflect His glory in our character, actions, and words, drawing others to experience His love and salvation. In this study, we've begun to explore the theme of divine presence and glory through the lens of Haggai. We've seen how God's promises of greater glory transcend physical structures and point to a deeper spiritual reality. Stay tuned as we further unpack this profound topic and discover how we can live in the fullness of God's presence and glory. In understanding the greater glory of the temple as mentioned in Haggai 2 verse 9, we must consider both its historical context and its spiritual significance. The rebuilding of the temple in Haggai's time marked a crucial moment in Israel's history. After years of neglect and destruction, the people were called to restore God's dwelling place, signaling a renewed commitment to their covenant with Him. Historical Context The first temple, constructed under King Solomon's reign, was a marvel of architectural brilliance and a testament to Israel's prosperity and devotion to God. However, due to the nation's disobedience and idolatry, the temple was eventually destroyed by the Babylonians. The exile marked a period of spiritual and national upheaval, highlighting the consequences of straying from God's ways. Promise of Restoration Haggai's prophecy comes at a pivotal time when the exiles had returned from Babylon and were tasked with rebuilding the temple. The people faced challenges and discouragement as they compared the new temple's modest beginnings with the grandeur of Solomon's temple. In response, God assures them of a greater glory yet to come not based on external splendor but on His abiding presence and blessings. Spiritual Fulfillment 
the greater glory of the temple extends beyond physical structures to spiritual realities. In the New Testament, we learn that believers are now God's temple, indwelt by the Holy Spirit, 1 Corinthians 3 verse 16. This spiritual temple surpasses the magnificence of any earthly building, for it embodies God's presence among His people in a profound and personal way. The Church as God's Temple As the body of Christ, the Church carries forward the legacy of God's dwelling place on earth. We are called to be living stones, built upon the foundation of Christ, and functioning as a holy priesthood. 1 Peter 2 verses 4-5 the greater glory of this spiritual temple lies in our unity, love, and collective witness to the world, showcasing God's transformative power and grace. Implications for Today Understanding the greater glory of the temple challenges us to rethink our perspective on worship and spiritual growth. It's not about elaborate buildings or rituals, but about cultivating a vibrant relationship with God and living out His purposes in our lives. As temples of the Holy Spirit, we carry the responsibility of reflecting God's glory in our communities, impacting lives with His love and truth. The concept of the greater glory of the temple invites us into a deeper exploration of our identity as God's dwelling place. As we continue this study, we'll delve into practical ways to experience and manifest this greater glory in our individual lives and as part of the body of Christ. The fulfillment of God's promises is a central theme throughout Scripture, and Haggai 2 verse 9 encapsulates this truth in a powerful declaration of divine faithfulness. As we conclude our study on divine presence and glory, let's delve into the profound implications of God's promises being fulfilled in the context of this verse. Faithfulness Amidst Challenges The rebuilding of the temple in Haggai's time was not without obstacles. The people faced opposition, limited resources, and discouragement. Yet God remained faithful to His Word, reassuring them of His presence, peace, and a greater glory to come. This underscores God's faithfulness in fulfilling His promises, even in the midst of adversity and uncertainty. Historically, God's promise of a greater glory for the temple found partial fulfillment during the time of Ezra and Nehemiah. The temple was rebuilt, sacrifices were restored, and the people experienced a spiritual renewal. This served as a testament to God's faithfulness in restoring His people and fulfilling His covenant promises. On a spiritual level, Haggai 2 verse 9 points to the ultimate fulfillment of God's promises in Christ. Jesus, as the fulfillment of God's covenant, brought a greater glory through His redemptive work. The New Testament reveals the fulfillment of prophecies, the establishment of the Church, and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, all marking a new era of God's presence and grace among His people. Personal Relevance God's promises extend to us personally, offering hope, assurance, and purpose. Just as He fulfilled His promises to ancient Israel, He remains faithful to fulfill His promises in our lives today. Whether it's His promises of salvation, provision, healing, or guidance, we can trust in His faithfulness to bring them to fruition in His perfect timing and according to His perfect plan. Living in Promise Fulfillment As believers, we live in the reality of fulfilled promises. We have experienced God's salvation, received His Spirit, and are heirs of His eternal kingdom. Our lives are testimonies to God's faithfulness and the reality of His promises being fulfilled. This should inspire us to live with gratitude, faith, and expectancy, knowing that God is faithful to complete what He has begun in us. Philippians 1 verse 6 In concluding our study, we've explored the themes of divine presence and glory the greater glory of the temple, and God's promises fulfilled through the lens of Haggai 2 verse 9. This verse serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us of God's unwavering faithfulness, His abiding presence, and the fulfillment of His promises in Christ. May we continue to trust in His promises, live in His presence, and magnify His glory in all we do.